Yeah, thank you for the kind introduction. Um, as you already said, my name is Deborah Weiss, and I come from Paderborn University in Germany, and um, I'm working there in the field of applied mechanics. And yeah, as you already said, I'm going to present you the fracture mechanical investigation of preformed metal sheets using a novel CC specimen. And in doing so, I'm uh, yeah, going to present you the agenda. So I will start with a short motivation, why this topic is important. And after that, I will show you the geometry of the CC specimen. Then I will come to some necessary numerical prelim preliminary investigations. Um, which we need uh, for the experimental investigations, which is the main part of my presentation. And in the end, I will summarize the main findings and give a short outlook. Yes, um, to start with the motivation, um, in many areas of product manufacturing, designs are assembled from individual components to form more or less complex structures. And um, yeah, some application areas where complex structures are used are, for example, energy systems, medical um, technology, household appliances, or uh, especially the automotive construction. And yeah, in especially in this field, um, lightweight constructions are of high importance because uh, due to EU regulations, um, the car manufacturer are forced to um, regulate or to, yeah, to regulate the, deox the carbon dioxide emissions. And um, in doing so, they try to reduce the weight of the, um, of the structure um, with the help of multi-material design, where they use um, yeah, the material or where they try to get the best mechanical parameters out of the material. And um, yeah, in the future, or they combine now uh, many different materials, and in the future, the complexity of these components will even increase because yeah, of the use of different materials and combined processes. And um, one um, process which can combine um, different materials, coated materials, without additional heat input and um, yeah, in just one single step is clinching um, the process you can see here. Um, so yeah, first uh, the sheets are positioned um, yeah, in the way that one sheet is above the other and um, then it's preloaded by the blank holder and um, in the second and the third step uh, the punch is um, yeah, going down to form an undercut so there is the result of a um, form fit and force fit connection. And um, these connections have to be um, designed to static strength, fatigue strength, crack sensitivity and crack growth lifetime. Um, because during the process um, there can um, be cracks yeah, due to the material, the die, the joint parts, the joining force or the blank holder force. And um, yeah, as you can imagine, these uh, connections are characterized by high stress concentrations, contact, heterogeneous material, residual stresses, and multi-axial out-of-phase out stress states. And yeah, so you can imagine that it is important um, yeah, for the a lifetime of this structure that you consider these following questions like um, yeah, does a crack grow, how fast does a crack grow, in which direction does it grow, and when does unstable crack growth start. So yeah, these are the, this is the topic of our project and um, yeah, we started these uh, investigations with a base material which is only 1.5 millimeters thick. And um, now in this presentation, we come to the area of the joint. Um, and yeah, you will see the geometry in the next step. And after this geometry, there will uh, be investigations of the center of the clinch joint, but that is the next step. So yeah, to deal with the area of the clinch joint, we um, yeah, investigated a new specimen, which we called CC specimen. Um, and this is, um, yeah, or the specimen is formed um, 
in the clinching process. So you can see here an adapter to position the exact um, clinch point position. And um, after that, this clinch connection um, is eroded at this line. So we have um, yeah, the influence of the clinch joint in this area. And after that, we can um, use this specimen for the fracture mechanical investigations. And um, in this uh, presentation, we also considered um, different position of this clinch joint. So yeah, we do it like this. <laughs> And um, yeah, we want to investigate the influence of the clinch joint area. And yeah, to be able to investigate uh, this specimen in an experimental way, we have to um, do some numerical preliminary investigations. Um, for example, we need to know the geometry factor function to calculate the stress intensity factor during the tests. And we also need the um, calibration function to measure the crack length during the test. And you, know, you can see here the comparison to the extended mini CT specimen you will see on the next slide, which was used for the base material. Because we had to do a bit, yeah, it's not the normal mi mini CT specimen because we had to extend it, um, the specimen due to the thin sheet thickness of only 1.5 millimeters. So um, yeah, we can use these um, functions for the um, yeah for the tests, and um, the tests or the test setup looks like this. So we also used a DIC system to um, evaluate the the crack path, and uh, yeah, we used uh, this kind of um, test setup with a measuring device for the current potential or direct current potential drop method, um, yeah, with in combination with the PC with evaluation software. And the test parameters we used within the tests were these ones. So we had a maximum, uh, maximum stress intensity factor of 700 Newton per millimeter to the power of two half, and an R ratio of 0 0.1 and a test frequency of uh, 20 Hertz. Um, yeah, on this slide you can see the results of the base material. So we did an um, yeah crack growth rate, or we had a crack growth rate curve, which uh, yeah looked this way. And um, now we of course want to compare the results of the new specimen with um, yeah this kind of, uh, uh, of with the base material, and um, therefore we uh, made an adjustment according to formal metu to um, yeah to get uh, an crack growth rate at a delta k of 20 which we yeah using in the tests um, and at this point we have an crack growth rate of around two times 10 to the power of minus five millimeters per cycle so yeah, this is um, the crack growth rate we want to compare the next results with. And um, yeah, on this slide, you can see the results of the crack growth rate of this um, three different positions of the um, clinch joint. And um, yeah, as you can see after 0 0.5 millimeters, the, um, yeah, the crack growth rate becomes more or less stable and um, yeah, this crack growth rate lies within a range of 1.36 and 1.98 times 10 to the power of minus five millimeters per cycle. So yeah, it is comparable with the um, formal metu adjustment. Um, yeah, but um, in the first um, on uh, 0 0.5 millimeters, yeah, there are some differences um, visible in the crack growth rate. But um, yeah, up to now it's not clear if it is because of the notch or the clinch joint. So uh, the influence of the different joint positions according to the crack growth that has to be investigated more. And yeah, I will tell you in the end how we want to do this. Um, we also yeah, use the DIC system to 
um, yeah, evaluate the crack path. Um, so, um, yeah, due to the thin sheet thickness, we could not observe any bulging. And, um, yeah, the crack grows straight in the middle of the specimen and is not deflected in any way. So, um, yeah, with that, I come to the summary of my presentation. Um, the topic was the fracture mechanical investiga investigation of preformed metal sheets using a novel CC specimen. And um, yeah, it can be stated that the experimental investigations of preformed metal sheets using a novel CC specimen are possible. So that no bulging during the experimental investigations um, can be observed or could be observed. And um, yeah, the crack grows straight in the middle of the specimen and is not deflected. But um, yeah, as I already said, the influence of the different joint positions according to the crack growth rate has to be investigated more. Um, and that is why we want to use another kind of specimen, um, which you can see here on the right side, um, that has to be examined in the future uh, to prevent possible influence of the notch and to be able to measure the crack growth rate directly um, yeah, at the location of this hinge joint. Yeah, and with this, I'm in the end of my presentation. I want to thank you for your attention, and yeah, do not hesitate to ask any questions. <laughs>